Hey everybody, I'm Michael with Finishing Technologies. Welcome back to the Spray Booth. Today we're going to talk about the proper cleaning process for the OptiFlex line uh, between colors. So let's take a look. I'll show you the way we do it. Um, before I get started here, I want to make sure to have a clean rag and a blowgun handy. And uh, make sure your gun is pointed toward your exhaust filters before we start. Um, so first of all, I'm going to grab the pickup tube, pull it up out of the powder box, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to wipe down the outside of the pickup tube assembly. And that's to try to keep powder from entering the collar area here. Once I get that tube up and out of the box, I'll be able to blow off the foot valve here with my blow gun, blow off the base of the pickup tube, try to blow out the collar area here. That keeps powder from falling into the next box. I'm going to blow off the entire pickup tube assembly here. I'm going to go ahead and pop the pump off the pickup tube assembly and take the powder hose off the pump. Take the insert out of the pump, take your blow gun, blow through the pump itself. Don't blow backward, keep the air flowing the way it would normally travel through the pump. Uh, forcing air backward through the pump can put particles in the filter elements in the quick disconnects up top here. So that's all cleaned out, I'm going to go ahead and reseat the pump, make sure the insert's all blown off and cleaned out. Plug that back in with your powder hose. I'm going to go ahead and with the gun pointed toward your exhaust filters, a couple quick blasts through the powder hose there. Good to reconnect it now. And then to the gun. At the gun, I'll go ahead and use the collar to release the powder hose. There will always be powder on the top of this fitting, so I'm going to go ahead and blow off the fitting, make sure to get that flared edge on the top and that should be good to go. I'm going to use the bottle brush that GEMA gives you with the new units to clean the handle portion of the gun body and go ahead and blow that out. A couple quick blasts. I'm going to take the barrel assembly off the front of the gun and go ahead and run the barrel brush down through the barrel of the gun. Clean that out. Go ahead and blast it out again. A couple quick blasts through the gun body. So the gun should be pretty well cleaned off at that point. I'm gonna take the nozzle assembly apart. Go ahead and blow through, get this guy all cleaned out. And reassemble. Good to go there. And plug the powder hose back in. And go ahead and point the gun back toward the exhaust filters. And the final step I'm going to do is hit the, hit the purge button on the back of the gun. Now this will send a 10 CFM pulse of air through the system. And you'll notice on the display the centipede chasing itself. Uh, this will engage the cleaning cycle just to get the last bits of powder out of the system for us. Uh, and it will shut itself off. If you want that cycle to stop faster, you can simply pull the trigger on the gun and the cycle will stop. So that's a quick color change for you. Um, we'll go ahead and show you over in the booth with dirty equipment and see the difference. <laughs> Thank you.
thanks for tuning in today and just a reminder proper cleaning technique will extend the life of your equipment and improve the finish quality of your product so we hope you found this video helpful and we'll see you next time